What is going on guys? I am the local watch guy here back with another video and today's video is going to be a little bit different. So I've spoken a lot about watches, types of watches, certain brands, um, how they function, their advantages, disadvantages, and I've compared so many watches. However, what really makes a good watch? How do you maintain a good watch? You obviously need good tools as shown here in the video. Now, I'm going to compare two different types of tools. There is the cheap set of tools that from Amazon and there is the expensive Swiss tools from Bergeon, as you may know, is a Swiss company that makes really high quality watch tools. So without exaggeration, uh, the watch tools here cost around 10 to $15 on Amazon. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I bought these quite a while ago and the one on to my left here, total costs approximately up to $300. And if we want to be exact, I have the receipt here. It costs $292.04. Now, I'm just gonna round up the number to 300 just because there were some watch tools that I did order and they did get canceled, but that's just a whole different story. So let's get back to the main idea here. So now, if you have the watch tools here that I got from Amazon, now this will do just fine. Um, if you have, I would say, um, sort of mid to uh, low budget friendly watches, um, sort of nothing of the high expensive timepieces, then this will do just fine. However, I do not recommend this tool set to be used on expensive watches at all. No exceptions there whatsoever. If you are ever going to repair your own watch or simply just change the strap or service, I would 100% advise the tool set from Bergeon as they are completely different higher quality and I will show you each and every single tool set and what's inside and bear in mind this just arrived today from the mail so I'm extremely excited to use these tools and see how they work and see the quality of them. So first and foremost we'll start with the expensive tool set to my left which is from Bergeon and we'll start with the screwdriver set. So there are simply nine sizes of straight blade screwdrivers ranging from sizes of 0.50 millimeters all the way up to 2.50 millimeters. And they're all color coded, as you can see, which allow you to distinguish the colors and just make for an easier and better way to repair your watch so you don't have to keep on reading and checking the sizes, even though they're actually labeled on the screwdriver itself. They're all made out of stainless steel and the blades are actually made out of tempered stainless steel and they are 100% Swiss made. And what I like the most about this is it actually is rotatable. So you can simply rotate it I just like to play with it sometimes because I'm a little kid, but it just makes the job 100% easier when you want to repair your own watch. If you're in a hurry or if you just want to, you know, sit down and use something of good quality that will not bend or break, such as the cheap tool set here from Amazon, which you'll see in a bit. So this tool set was around $140 from Esslinger. Um, very amazing website, very good customer service. Uh, arrived approximately in a week, give or take. Now, these are non-magnetic Bergeon tweezers. They all have covers for their tips, just for safety. So these Bergeon tweezers uh, differ from the one in the Amazon tool set, uh, simply due to the fact that they're anti-magnetic, they're made of stainless steel, and they're also temperature resistant up to 350 degrees Celsius. That is a crazy high temperature. Um, they're also supplied in a nice pouch, so you can store them, so they don't have to be you know, thrown around in the drawer or whatnot. And the number one and number three length are 120 millimeters, and the number five is the 110 millimeters. So it simply includes uh, the patterns. The numbers that I'm seeing are the patterns. So it's a number one, uh, a number three, and a number five. I will be leaving a link in the description for all the items shown in this video, and the name of this product is the Bergeon 7024 set of three non-magnetic tweezers. So if you go ahead and test the cheap tweezers from Amazon, you'll see they are not the same quality and obviously not as sharp. Bear in mind, I've used these once only to change the strap of the Casio wash that you can see over there. Sorry, I mean the bracelet, not the strap. And honestly, it started bending. I don't know if it shows on camera, but they are not the best of quality. And I'm gonna say this again, this wash tool set is fine. It is just not recommended for high-end 
uh, timepieces simply because they will bend, they will break, they'll even scratch the watch if you're not careful, if you don't know what you're doing. So, you know, buy them at your own risk. So when I came across the website that sells the Bergeron tools, I was obviously tempted to buy everything and anything, but I just held myself and told myself to buy the things that I will be using. Um, I use a lot of these spring bar tools, screwdriver. I sometimes like to open the watch and see what's inside. Um, the uh, blower over there, the dust blower, and the block that holds the watch for changing the strap. Just things that I use on a daily basis um, for using the watch or just changing the strap or just you know trying to inspect the movement. But a lot of the stuff here are actually uh, stuff that I've never even used but you know, could be useful, can be useful for a watch collector, enthusiast, hobbyist. Now, secondly, we have the Bergeon 5733 Deluxe Rubber Dust Blower. I believe this is a very important tool for any watch collector or you know any person who has jewelry. Uh, it is very important for getting the particles away for the dust. And another tip I'd like to give even if you're doing macro photography shots or videography, there will sometimes be tiny stubborn particles of dust and this will do the job just fine. And I even like that it has a flat bottom bench so you can simply place it on the table without it rolling away. Um, also has a very, very precise um, direction of the airflow. So uh, something you know that you need in your um, I would say a uh, set of tools that did not come in the Amazon tool set that cost around $10. So this was roughly around $16 or $17, I believe, from uh, Slinger. Again, all the products I got were from that site, which I'll be mentioning in the description down below. This is the Bergeon 6767-F watch band tool or the Swiss spring bar tool. Essential for changing uh, rubber straps, stainless steel straps, uh, or bracelets, or whatever. Um, I've used this countless of times, uh, not this particular tool, this just arrived today, but I've used other ones um, that did just, you know, the job, you know, uh, equally as good. However, this one is obviously of higher end quality, and it has a 0.8 millimeter pointed end, and the fork end is 1.3 uh, millimeters and just overall five and a half inches of overall length. And also you can interchange the tips if they ever bend or break, which I don't think they will, but the fact that they're interchangeable just makes this tool way more better than it actually is. So the function of this tool uh, is actually to remove these spring bars, which makes the strap change or bracelet change way more easier. And I believe this was around $17.88, if I'm not mistaken. Um, way more higher quality than the one. Then this tool here, which you can see actually bent on the first few times. You can even notice the tip is kind of, I don't know, sort of crooked. Just overall, not the best quality. This even sometimes broke. So as I said, guys, you get what you pay for. Um, if you're gonna go cheap, just do expect these uh, Amazon tools to randomly break. So if I compare the two, you will notice, you know, even just by looking at them, you'll notice the quality and finishing, even though there are two different tools for different, different purposes as the fork uh, end on here is slightly larger. And lastly, but not least, we have the Bergeon watch block made out of synthetic soft material simply to place the watch on the side here or diagonally just to make strap changes or bracelet changes way easier. Um, this tool set, I believe it has one and I wouldn't say they differ that much if I'm gonna be honest, they both feel plasticky. The Bergeon one just feels way softer um, I believe it also does not scratch the watch. This one just feels like hard plastic. It is, I can't even bend it as compared to this one. It's easily uh, bendable. So there you go. Uh, Bergeon block and a cheap Amazon block. So this was around $15 for the 
um, whole block. And I don't know if they sell this by itself, but it comes with the set of the Amazon tool set. So let's give a close up of the screwdriver set and see how they are up close. So if you go ahead and pick up the 250 millimeters, I believe, and you'll see that it is pretty precise and accurate. And you can see they're even numbered and even comes with the blue color at the top with the letter B showing you it's Bergeon. So just overall, extremely quality. If you go for the thin ones, for the 30, sorry, it is the 80 millimeters, you'll see that it is extremely thin. The camera can't even focus because of how thin it is. But <laughs> you get the idea, an extremely, extremely thin tool. So as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, each screwdriver has its own distinguishable color and they're all numbered down below. And also with the rotating um, function, you can simply place this on your workbench. And whilst you're repairing the tool, you can just pick up a particular size and start working on your watch. Finally, we have the Bergeon 6808-V. This is the green work bench mats. Um, all this is is simply a place to work on with your watch. So if you're gonna have your screwdriver set here, and let's say your spring bar tool set here. Um, overall, a very useful mat. If I'm not mistaken, this was around $20. Um, it's not really that necessary. You can find a ton of uh, non-slip mats available on Amazon, but just the fact that it's Bergeon, um, I sort of wanted this product and I saw a ton of reviews and a ton of um, you know watch experts who fix watches use this product. So. I thought to myself, why not get one and see how it is. But overall, very soft, very nice material, and you can't go wrong with $20 for a Bergeon workbench mat. All right, so simply we have screwdrivers here with different um, numbers for the tips. Not the best quality, but you know, they do their job. Obviously, they're not good as the Bergeon ones. I've said it countless times. Just to get the point across, uh, this is a larger head screwdriver, again, with also colors on the tips to distinguish them. Um, even the box, I actually bought it and the box arrived to me like this. I'm not sure if, if it's from the manufacturer or from shipping. Um, there are pliers as well with the long nose. Pretty difficult to get out, but these are pretty useful. Um, to pull the uh, pins out if you're changing the bracelets, as I did for the Casio watch over there. I do need to get a pair of good quality pliers. I'm not sure if these um, are damaging the pins. I haven't really tested it on any high-end timepiece, but I believe, you know, it's doing its job. It's actually not a bad plier. You know, I don't have any complaints towards it or the case back opener. I've actually tried using this on the Seiko SKX to replace the bezel. I wanted to put the ceramic bezel and each time I put this under the bezel and tried to, you know, pluck it out, it just kept on bending and bending and I could feel it breaking. Um, this is not by Bergeon despite it being yellow, so don't get um, confused. As you can see, it says stainless steel, but I'm doubtful that it's actually stainless steel. Again, not the best quality, easily bendable, and it's overall a bad experience using these, but I guess it's the only thing I have, and I will get more um, stuff from Bergeon. As you know, it's my first time ever ordering them, and I just found them out from a friend. And I just wanna show you one of the pin pushers, and just look at that. <laughs> That's after the first use. Can you believe that? It sort of looks like some sort of mini TNT. Um, these pin pushers are used to remove pins of certain watches. Um, not all watches have the pin mechanism. And you will use this uh, with the help of this hammer, which has two sides to it. One is, um, I believe, it's supposed to be uh, brass, but I think this is just stainless steel. And again, this is uh, rubber or silicon and you simply use this tool and you place it on the strap and you hammer it down with the soft side just so you don't scratch it. So the hammer does this job well, you know, it's good quality. Um, I don't have any complaints towards it. Um, the pliers are good. These spring bar tools are, you know, really, really bad, especially the fork tip. 
it just bends like if I just push it with my hand like this just look at how much that bends that's extremely worrying <laughs> uh, watch loop again um, if you notice the glass sorta is moving very cheap watch loop uh, scratch surface actually literally received it like this straight out the box um, it does its job, but I have a much better quality watch loop that I bought from Timekeeper, so I don't think I'll ever be using this. Now, this is called a three-prong watch wrench. So what this does, it, um, what it simply does is you place it on the back of the watch and you twist it, you know, either clockwise or counterclockwise, and it just opens the case back of the watch. However, not all watches um, will have the necessary, uh, you know, uh, pins to apply these uh, uh, wrench tips on the watch. Some of them will just require this uh, case opener. So this removes the hands of the watch. Um, you simply place it on the watch and there's also a plastic sheet that you're supposed to place on it, but you know, it's obviously not included. And you know, it removes the hands from the watch if you ever wanna replace them or you wanna swap them or you know just overall necessary service or maintenance and then we have the awful tool here um this is not awful tool in general it's just this specific piece just look at how bent that is now i know you're probably saying that i'm maybe too harsh on my tools um but believe me guys i used this the first time and i was extremely uh, delicate and careful with the watch. I tested it on multiple watches and each time I tried to push the pin it kept on bending and you know even if I move with my hand it will literally bend. Just overall a really bad quality. You can even feel how plasticky and cheap this feels. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Bergeon makes uh, higher quality ones. Uh, if not there are a ton of watch manufacturers out there I mean, watch tool uh, companies that make way better quality than these. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this did its job uh, when removing the uh, pin for the bracelet, but it just got bent after the first or second use. I haven't used these in quite a while, so that is why I do not remember um, if it's the first time or second time. Uh, microfiber cloth that's supposed to be soft, but it's not that soft. Uh, judging by the way it feels, it's literally just cotton. So that is a disappointment. And finally, it is the watch case holder, uh, which holds the uh, cases for uh, specific watches, or you can simply place the movement here. Um, so if you wanna work on the watch, you simply place it here and you screw this in tightly and you can work on the movement uh, without having to hold the watch and it just being uh, a total disaster for the watch. So uh, it is a pretty interesting, useful tool. Uh, not the best, you know, material. I believe there are steel ones or just overall softer rubber. But then again, you know, it does its job. So I haven't used all the pieces here, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but some do come in handy, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but then again, I do not recommend this um, set of tool uh, pieces unless you know you want to be doing something uh, quick to a Casio or whatnot, but if you want good quality tools for a good time uh, piece that you do own, you do want to take care of, that you want it to last a long time, then by all means, get the Bergeon tools as they will be lasting you a really long time. I am by no means a watch expert. I am simply an enthusiast. And that is all for today, guys. Obviously, the watch of the day is the Casio with the Hindi or Arabic dial. If you have enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other tools that you recommend. And also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell icons to stay tuned and updated. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.